Hey there everybody, how's it going? It's Bronson from Fretz RV here in Southampton, Pennsylvania, taking a look at another Winnebago product. Uh, we have the 2100BH here today. I just recently did a review on its little brother, the 1800BH. So this one's a little bit more of a step up, but it's a little bit longer. It's got a slide out on it, so for those of you that might be looking for a little more floor space, a little more room to walk around, um, have that slide out. This will definitely be the unit for you. It still sits just under 4,000 pounds, so for anybody that has that 5,000 pound tow capacity on their vehicle. This might be a perfect fit for you. Take around the outside, inside, see if this might be the unit for you. So in front, we've got the fiberglass front cap. Very nice, got the propane tanks that'll be under here, your cover. You've got an electric tongue jack up here as well. It's gonna have an LED light on there for you. Wanted to do any cranking or anything. Coming around on the other side here. Again, we're fiberglass all the way along the side, you've got a nice power awning up here with an LED strip under there. You've got two outdoor speakers as well for hanging on underneath your awning. You can play some tunes. Over here, you do have your nice, thick pass-through storage door. And this is a nice big space for bringing any of your belongings along with you. This one also has the solar package on board, so you do have the solar controller up there in the front. It's got an LED light in here as well. Has the slam latches on, so once you drop it, it will just close up. You do have the um, power stabilizer jacks on here as well. So you'll have the switches in the front to in the back and you can just bring those right down. This does have the Explorer package as well. So you've got the nice off-road wheel and tire, 15 inches uh, wheels. Sits up a little bit higher as well. It's gonna give you some more uh, ground clearance. Heated and closed underbelly is as well. I'll show you when we get to the inside. It does have a tank heater switch on board so that you can throw that on and you'll be able to keep those tanks heated up. The rest over here is pretty much just a fresh water tank fill. You've got a black tank flush on board as well for flushing out your black holding tank and a couple outlets over there. Full spare on the back with the ladder to get up on your roof, clean off that solar panel, check your seals. It's also prepped for a Voyager backup camera. Coming around on this side, you've got your other hookups for your 30 amp connection, your cable hookups, fresh water tank or your city water connection, excuse me. And down below, you'll find your uh, sewage drain. Doesn't sit way down to the floor, which is nice, so you don't have to get down too far. Got a nice storage door back here as well. For any of you that want to bring some toys along, maybe a bike that you can fold up and fit in here, this bottom bunk will actually be able to flip up and latch into a place, so you get this nice, big open space in here. If you want to bring anything along and bring it outside once you get to your destination and put your bunk back down, you can do so. Those bunks are rated for 250 pounds as well. You'll see your slide out mechanism here. It's a pretty deep slide, so we'll give you an extra couple feet of space here on the inside. It allows for a slightly larger dinette as well. And on the other side here, you'll find you do have the other pass-through storage bin. Your 30 amp power cord is in there currently at the moment. Step up on the inside. For uh, 2021, for any of you that have been in the older Winnebago models, they have refreshed the interior. It's been like this for quite some time, since probably middle of last year, but they changed the, uh, the countertops to a different color, all the upper cabinets, even the dinette cushions and all that. Just looks a lot more modern than how they used to. Really nice touch and update, nice little refresh. Starting over here towards the galley area, you do have an awning in and out switch, there's that tank heater switch I was talking about. So you do have the heated and closed underbelly, it's insulated. Got your tank level readers here, turn your water heater on, it is gas or electric. And you've got your slide out control and a couple of lights. You do have a TV on board here as well. This will come out and you can swivel it and turn it around. You've got the Connects wireless charger so you can drop your phone right on there and it's gonna charge for you as well. And a couple outlets over here as long as the uh, countertop extension there. Up above, you've got another connect system. This is going to be for your phone. If you want to connect that up or listen to the stereo, um, you can do so from here. It's got USB as well. A couple storage cabinets up above here, above your kitchen area. You want to store some things in there. And then you do have sink covers on here that will cover up your nice big stainless steel sink. Nice and deep and wide. And you've got the attachment there for your sink head. Down below here, a little bit more storage. And some more long storage drawers there as well for you. Coming up above here, your oven, or not your oven, excuse me, your three burner cooktop. No oven on board because this one does have the convection microwave. So you can use that as an oven or a regular microwave. And then down below, you'll have a nice 
deep drawer for putting any more belongings in there. And down below that isn't actually a drawer. It's just going to be your breaker box and fuse panel. You have a very generously sized fridge in here. Nice and tall. Got your freezer up above, your fridge down below. Plenty and plenty of space in here. I mean, this is, you can hold definitely more than a week worth of uh, food in here. Come into your bathroom, you got the toilet with the foot flush. Nice size shower as well, with the skylights to give you a little extra headroom. And then you've got your vents with exhaust fan up above. Here's your two bunks, top and bottom. A little bit of storage down there that you can get access to. And these do have their own individual lights, USB over here as well. And there'll be some for the bottom bunk towards the back. Here's your nice size dinette. Definitely will be able to sit four folks on here. And then a lot of the smaller models will only really cut the dinette in half and it'll be a lot shorter. So plenty of seating space on here, two on either side. This will make a bed as well. So it'll be a pretty nice bed space. So you can drop down the tabletop. It'll rest down the middle, fill the cushions in. You have a nice sleeping space here. You've even got nice big windows up here. So if you're sitting out, so a night nice view, you'll be, uh, you'll be able to see outside. Curtain to close off your main bed section. You can see your bed here. There's a side to side bed with storage up above. Open up some of these so you can get an idea of what you're working with. Windows on either side. So if you want to open them up and get some nice cross ventilation, you can do so. There's also access to your storage from the uh, outside pass-through under here. You've got some outlets over there, some USB if you wanna plug some things in and another vent up above. Your air conditioner is ducted through the ceiling. So it's nice to still see on a unit of this size that it's not just coming out through the main square. It'll be ducted throughout. Nice floors on here as well. Asdell composite on here, so man-made material, really nice, holds up a lot better. This is the Winnebago Micro Mini 2100BH here, Fretz RV in Sourton, Pennsylvania. Yeah, my name is Bronson. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave me a comment. Something I might have missed out, let me know. I'll be glad to help. Be sure to give us a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to keep up with future content. And we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.